Now we're going to consider a pulse traveling along a string. Let's let f of x be a height function which describes the height of the pulse. Well y at x is equal to x0 and time 0 is equal to f x0. Now at a time t later the wave has traveled along at a speed v and so the peak has moved a distance vt. So we can see that x dash is equal to x0 plus vt. Now y of x dash at time t, that's this peak height, is the same as the peak height over here. So the peak height over here was f of x0. So we can write this is equal to f of x0 then x0 is x dash minus vt. So we can put in this is the same as f of x dash minus vt. Now the important point is that as this wave was moving to the right, we need to subtract vt from x to work out the height at a certain point. If the pulse was traveling to the left, then the function would be equal to f of x plus vt. Sometimes this function is called a wave function as it describes the shape of the wave and how it evolves with time. If there's no time dependence then sometimes it's referred to as a wave form. So the wave form describes just the shape of the wave, just the x and y dependence and not the time dependence. So it's determined at a particular time. So here's a question. At time t equals zero a transverse pulse in the y is described by this function. So this is our waveform. y is equal to 6 over x squared plus 3, where x and y are in metres. If the pulse is travelling in the positive x direction with a speed of 4.50 metres per second, write the function y of x and t that describes this pulse.